again, uh, I'm going to try to show you what a standing wave looks like in the big spring again. Uh, we're using this uh, to try to show waves. Now remember, the idea of the standing wave is that you initially make a wave pulse. It's going to travel and it's going to hit the wall over there. When it hits the wall, it's trying to travel from a less dense to a more dense medium. That means that most of the wave is going to get reflected. We're not going to see much of the wave get transmitted into the wall. We're not going to see the wall starting to shake. Instead, it's going to be reflected back at me, inverted. So it's going to come back. Now, what I've got to try to do is time it so that as that wave is coming back at me, I send out the next wave pulse. When they meet in the middle, those two wave pulses will add destructively. One of them is inverted. The other one is erect. When they meet in the middle, they're going to cancel each other out and form a node, a spot that's not moving. On the two other ends, I'm going to hopefully have waves that are going to be going boing, 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 boing. Those are just the waves themselves as they're traveling back. Okay? So I'm going to first try to get a double standing wave, two anti nodes for you to see. And then maybe I'll even try three. Okay? Here we go. Okay, now hopefully you can see that, that there's two different waves, and right in the middle, there's a spot that isn't moving. Okay, that's my note. Now I'll try doing one that's a triple. There's a triple. Oh, it's starting to fall apart. It really started to fall apart. The problem is that for me to get the triple wave, what did I have to change? What did I start doing to the wave? I started shaking it more, a higher frequency, right? Higher frequency changes the number of waves I'm going to get in here. A higher frequency, if the frequency is getting higher, what has to happen to the wavelength? Hey, it got smaller, because the three waves, they have to be smaller to fit into the same distance that I have. Now, as I was shaking it more and more and more higher frequency, that's why it popped right off there. But trying to get past three standing waves with a spring like this, I realistically can't do it because I'd have to be shaking my head so fast to be able to get the frequency high enough to have four antinodes in there. It's just not going to happen. So hopefully you did see the double standing wave okay though, and now you've got sort of an image of it in your head, and I'll see you around. Bye-bye.